Choosing to love someone when they do something wrong is hard to do. Choosing to love someone when they hurt another person is hard to do. In the Bible, this kind of love is called mercy. This is a story about the time King David chose mercy with the help of a wise woman. Hear her tell the story. We had a king named David. King David was heartbroken because his sons were mean. They used their power to hurt each other. They hated one another. One terrible day, one of the king's sons used his power to hurt his sister deep inside. This made his brother really mad. He was so angry that he killed his brother. Then he ran away from home. Now King David had to decide what to do. His daughter was hurt deep inside. One of his sons was dead. The other son was hiding far away. King David was both angry and sad. He did not know what to do. This was serious business. When I heard about the king's troubles, I decided to leave my home in Tekoa to go see him. The people of Tekoa called me wise because I try to help them when they are angry, confused, or scared. I try to use my wisdom to help people in trouble. I told King David the story that I hoped would help him decide what to do. I have two sons. They could not stop fighting when one killed his brother. Now I am so sad. My whole family is angry and wants to punish my son who lives. They want to kill him too, but my husband is dead and so is my other son. If we kill this son, I will be alone. If we kill my son, when will the killing stop? King David wanted to help me. He said, I promise you, I have my protection and so does your son. I won't let anybody hurt him. I won't let them touch a hair on his head. Then I asked the king, then what about your son? Will you do the same to protect him? King David blinked his eyes with a surprise. His heart grew soft. You are right, wise woman. I can love and protect my son, even when he does terrible things. I will bring him home. After we read this story, let's think about some questions. Do you really think King David could ever love his son again? And if he could, how, how did the wise woman help him to do this? And can you think of a time that maybe someone else hurt someone else? Or can you think of a time when someone hurt you? Yeah, we've all been hurt, haven't we? But this story is really important to teach us about forgiveness and grace, and most importantly, mercy. Okay, so think about how you can add this story to your own life. We all need to be forgiven, and we all probably have someone else to forgive. Thank you guys so much for listening to this story. I hope to see you guys next week. Hello, everybody. So who here has heard of this word mercy before? It's an interesting word and has quite a few layers to it. It's a lot like the word forgiveness, but it goes farther than that. When we forgive someone, it's usually something that we can get over relatively quickly, and it's often in response to someone asking for forgiveness. We can say, oh, you're forgiven, or no harm done, forgive and forget. Mercy, on the other hand, is a strange thing because in instances when mercy is needed, often harm has been done. There are many emotions that we can't make sense of and we cannot forget what happened. So when it's not possible to just let it go, start over, what do we do then? What does this word mercy look like? So we hear it in this story that King David is in the exact same predicament. He can't just let go what happened. Harm has been done. Things finally got so bad that one of his sons killed his brother. King David doesn't know whether to be mad at his son for killing his brother, mad at his other son for hurting his daughter, or just sad that he's lost one of his children. There are a lot of emotions going on in King David's heart, and he doesn't know how to handle them. And that is where our wise woman of Tekoa comes in and teaches King David about choosing mercy when we are unable to simply forgive. This woman from Tekoa is wise because she knows what King David is feeling. and She knows that feelings can be tricky. She knows that when our, fr our friends or family hurt us, it isn't as simple as being mad at them. We're usually sad too because they let us down somehow. 
She knows that we don't want to listen to all of our feelings and that often we just pick the easiest one that'll make us feel better in the moment. And that feeling is usually anger, isn't it? This wise woman of Tekoa sees that David is torn between sadness and anger and says to him, do not act out of anger without thinking of all the feelings you are experiencing. They're important. Hurting someone who hurt you won't make you feel better for long. It might even make you feel worse. So if punishing his son or just forgiving what he had done wasn't going to heal the anger and sadness either way, what is King David to do? The wise woman says, you can choose mercy. Mercy is like love and forgiveness and patience all wrapped into one. It's what you can choose when there is no simple apology that be, can be spoken, no quick fix to what you are feeling, yet you still want to love someone. Mercy is a process that will help you begin to heal. Mercy takes time. So we read that King David does in fact choose mercy, and through that is able to love and protect his son from harm. He certainly wasn't able to forgive him immediately for killing his brother, but he wanted to get there eventually, and he knew that mercy was the way to get there. What we learn from this story is that mercy is a choice, and it's a decision to not hurt someone back when they first hurt us. That requires a lot of maturity and wisdom. It doesn't mean you have to be best friends with that person ever again if you don't want. It's okay if it takes you time to forgive someone or if you need to stop being friends. You can love someone from afar. When we choose to show someone mercy, we're choosing to show them a glimpse of the love that God has for us. Choosing to say, I'm not going to hurt you back, even though you hurt me. God will always choose to love us rather than punish us because God knows that hurt people are the ones who usually hurt other people. And God does not want us to hurt or be hurt. Mercy reminds us that we can always be better people regardless of what we've done in the past. So how can we help God in spreading love rather than hurt this week and for the weeks after that? Who needs to be reminded that they are good people, not the bad choices they made in the past? Mercy is a powerful gift to give. It lifts uh, the weight off of our chest and reminds us, oh, I can still be a good person. I don't have to choose hurt. I can forgive over time. So let's share this powerful gift this week, shall we? Amen. Thank you.